What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching a magic review on the Hip Pocket Molica Wallet by Tim Trono. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. If you haven't, please consider subscribing, give the video a thumbs up, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss a review. And any questions or comments, just enter them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to join the Chris Edwards Magic Secret Access Group over on Facebook. Alright, so today we are looking at the Hip Pocket Molica Wallet by Tim Trono. Now this comes in two versions. I have the genuine leather. It also comes in a vegan leather. But I'm just going to say right now, if you aren't vegan or purchasing the vegan leather due to the animal cruelty aspect, then go with the leather. Because if you're just doing it to save the $30, the leather version is going to last so much longer. It's going to age better. And it's if it's just for the price difference, it's worth getting the leather. Anyway, what is the Hip Pocket Molica Wallet? So this is a card to wallet. Uh, it can also be used for mentalism. Uh, it has a great loading system. And what I've always liked about this, I've uh, used the Molica wallet, the uh, original Molica wallet, uh, for years. I've always liked the no palm card to wallet aspect that this offers. Um, it also adds a second layer of impossibility. And I'll show you in a second. So <clears throat> I have been carrying this around for about a month. Now I did switch back to a smaller wallet. For me, uh, this works as an everyday carry, but it was just too big for me to use it as an everyday carry. Now, when I'm doing gigs, I'm definitely going to use this because most of the time I'm wearing a suit jacket. So even though this is a hip pocket wallet, it will fit in your hip pocket, but uh, it does take up the entire pocket and it is still quite bulky. So for me, I would probably still use this on the inside breast pocket of a suit jacket. Now the original Molica wallet was longer than this one. So uh, this has been shrunk down a little bit, but it is still quite a large wallet. What do you get? So um, uh, do I have the packaging? I don't know if I kept it. Just a sec. Okay, yeah, so here's the packaging. Comes in a box like this. It's a nice box. I don't usually keep the boxes, so I didn't know if I kept this or not. Inside, you will get your link to the tutorial. I'll just cover that. And then it comes in a fitted foam inlay. So that's the packaging. Inside, you will get your wallet. Now, I've set mine up to look like an everyday wallet. I'll just cover my driver's license here. But... You have an ID window here with um, a working pocket for a card here. And then you have, I'm just going to take my driver's license out. I also keep some business cards underneath. But then you have uh, three working pockets here. I have two cards in each pocket. So good storage. On the other side, you have, uh, I don't know, like a little leather flap where I keep a 52-in-1 card, which comes with this. I keep some business cards. I keep an envelope with a prediction. And I also keep, uh, I think it's called calendar in here. I still have to, to learn this, but it, it fit nice, so I threw it in. Um, I also just have a piece of cardboard in here that I've cut to be the same size just to uh, add some extra stability to this side because there wasn't much before. Not that that's an issue, but I just, I like it to keep its form. And then the secret, right? The whole kind of thing behind this, the method is this additional wallet here. So the additional wallet, that's where you have your ID window. Uh, and then you have a zipper compartment where you will pull out their sign card, 
right? So um, I'm not going to do the load here because I'm seated and it, it can be done, but I don't want to give anything away on camera. So basically, you have the wallet. You can show this wallet. You can set it off to the side or have your participant hold it. At some point, you're going to take it back, okay? And then you can be very clean with this. So you would open it up show that you have another wallet right to which you would bring that out and then you would go into the next part and bring out the card and it all looks that clean right so uh, very very deceptive you can also put this in like that too if you want to do it that way whatever is easier or not easier but whatever your preference is so yeah it's a card to wallet first and foremost, but it can also be loaded for predictions and mentalism and things like that. So I do really like this. Um, I guess I'll give you, I'll take everything out of the wallet quickly. I might just fast forward this part or skip. Okay. So here is the wallet. Now, like I said, this is the leather version. So it is very well made. The quality is top notch. Um, <clears throat> Inside you have the smaller wallet. Now, I'm not going to show both sides of this one because this is your gimmicked wallet essentially, but it's all very well stitched, very uh, good leather. It's thick but not too thick and it's a soft leather. Zipper is good quality too. So overall quality of the wallet and all its contents is all very good. It's, it doesn't get much better than that. So next we'll talk about the tutorial, which I think is unreal. Uh, Nick Lacopo is your instructor, or your teacher throughout this project. Uh, you're going to learn how the wallet works, uh, the, the loading system, and then you're going to learn three really good routines. So the first routine is a named card to wallet. So your participant can name any card. That is the card that ends up inside the innermost wallet in the zipper compartment. That's kind of your basic, most standard routine with this wallet. Uh, next, you're going to learn a routine called Future Card to Wallet, which is probably my favorite one on the project. Uh, that one, you will bring out the inner wallet and show that you have a playing card inside. Now you say that this is uh, a playing card signed by a very famous magician. From there on you say you know you'll you'll come back to this later and you set it off to the side. Then you're going to have your participant select a card out of the deck. Uh, they're going to sign that and then ultimately after some presentation and some patter you come back to this to show that that card that you showed before is actually the signed playing card. So it's really cool because only one card comes out of here and that ends up being their signed card, which is impossible. But it's very well executed, very well put together, and it's just all so clean that uh, I love it. The next one, you are going to learn a prediction effect. So it's taught with a deck of playing cards. Um, again, you show that there's a single card inside of your wallet. And then you go through a process. They basically think of any card. And uh, that's the card in your wallet. Uh, now, that can be signed as well. And it's very similar to the first routine. There's just a bit of a different kind of presentation. And you show that there's a card in there beforehand so that's really the only difference and then you are going to see a performance video of Oz Perlman doing his uh, signature routine what's in a name and the reason it's shown in here is because he has always used the Molico wallet for that routine as the kind of final revelation but really what that routine shows they're not going to teach you the routine he teaches that on his penguin live but it kind of shows that you know, you can use this wallet for more than, than playing cards, right? You can use it for predictions and mentalism. You could use it for, um, you know, 
nail writing, whatever you want because of the load. So you have the routines there. In the beginning, Nick talks about the handling uh, when it comes to loading the wallet. And then in the end, he's going to teach you some card forces and some controls and things like that because they just want to provide everything in there so that if you're just a beginner to card magic, you don't know a lot of uh, slights, which because of the way this is done, it's very slight minimal. I mean, there's some that really don't even, I wouldn't even consider them slight of hand, right? Uh, because everything's covered and you can take your time with this. So the tutorial covers everything that you'll ever need to know to perform everything that uh, is included with this project. Difficulty level. That's another beautiful aspect when it comes to the Moloko wallet because you're not having to palm cards. You're not having to really do any sleight of hand, right? Uh, so the difficulty, I'd say for a card to wallet, this is the easiest version that you will probably ever do. And as far as the routines go, they're all very easy to do as well, but I think they are extremely powerful and very entertaining. Angles. That's another great thing about this, is that you can perform this completely surrounded. There are no angle restrictions, uh, whereas if you're doing some other card to wallets and you're having to palm a card uh, or go to your back pocket or anything like that, uh, there, there can be some angle issues. Whereas this, it's so clean and fair because you're not having to palm anything. You're not having to go to a pocket. This can be left out on the table wherever you're performing or your participant can be holding this. Yes, you will take it back, but your hands never go out of sight. The wallet never goes out of sight. You know, with a, a other card to wallets, the wallet's in your back pocket or in your front pocket, right? So the wallet is out of sight. Whereas this, it's always in the open. It can be in their hands. And there is nothing to worry about with angles because the, I guess, dirty part is always completely covered. Set up and reset. There is no reset. Everything's instant, right? Their sign card's going to come out of this and then you're ready to perform again. Um, set up, I guess, just set it up so it looks like a wallet, right? If you just perform with it like this, I mean, it's it's obvious that this is a part of the method, right? Because why would you have a wallet that doesn't look like it's being used as a wallet for anything other than this card trick? But yeah, set up the wallet and you're good to go. There is no prior setup to performing any of this unless you want to do... Um, you know, I guess the two of the three routines, sh you show a playing card in there beforehand. So all you have to do is put a playing card inside. You leave it in there, right? Because whether you're doing a routine that shows the card beforehand or not, you don't need to show it. It can still be in there. So, I mean, one time, one second set up and you're good. Can it be inspected? Can it be examined? Yes and no, right? Um, they can hold on to this beforehand because they don't know what's going to happen, right? Um, it all seems very fair because you're never hiding anything. So I think for them to want to examine the wallet after, I think it's fairly minimal because there's never any points of suspicion or deception really. So I don't see this being something people are going to want to examine. <clears throat> but like I said, it's it's left out in the open. It can be visually, you know, seen from all angles at this point. And then if they're holding on to it, I think that already passes as examination. But you don't want them to hold or examine this portion of the wallet. That would give away the secret pocket space. So I would say that is the downfall to this wallet is the pocket space because it is a larger wallet. Now I think if they could have shrunk everything down so that the outer wallet was this size then it would be the same size as a lot of the wallets out there but it's bigger because of this one. See like the smaller wallet is comparable to like the Stealth Assassin. Right, I have that here for reference. Um, that's 
a good comparison to the smaller wallet, but it gets quite a bit bigger once you put it in the bigger wallet, right? So <clears throat> I think the size is what's going to kind of take people away from this because we are at a time where a lot of people like the minimalistic wallets or, you know, just a smaller wallet in general. Um, I don't think anybody's going to call you out on this, right? It's it's a wallet, and people have different preferences for wallets, so I don't think uh, that's going to be an issue. But, yeah, pocket space, it's going to take up quite a bit, especially when this is full. Is it a worker, and who would use this? So I would definitely say that this is a worker's wallet, right? It has good storage, um, no setup or reset, really. You can use this for magic. You can use this for mentalism. I mean, it, it doesn't give you a peak, but like I said, putting predictions in there, right? Just that that added layer of impossibility. It's not only in the first wallet, but it's in the second. So to have a prediction in there. And, you know, if you're doing the card prediction, you can show that there's a card in there beforehand. But if you want to, you can show, hey, I have a billet in here or, you know, a folded up piece of paper. And then you can obviously load whatever you want in there. So, um, yeah, whether you're a magician or a mentalist or both, I think that this is a great wallet to have. Uh, but like I said, this is probably my all time favorite card to wallet, not just because of the simplicity of it and the ease of use but i just think that having the two wallets and then a zipper compartment is uh just so impossible so i love it and then the fact that you can store other effects here lots of room on the side but then you also have pockets here you have another pocket inside here in here and then you'd have extra storage in here especially if you're storing it like this because then you have still quite a bit of space in there or if you are putting it in there all the way you still have a good amount of space if you want to put other things in there so um, I do think that I mean obviously it's going to get bulkier the more you put in that's a given but I think that you can do a ton of stuff with this so what's the price and is it worth your money so the genuine leather version is $79 95 so $80 and the vegan leather version is $30 less $49.95 or $50 um, like I said in the beginning if you are only getting the vegan leather for the difference of price don't get like, don't do that get the leather version because it's going to last you so much longer That's just my two cents. Don't take the price shortcut. So is it worth the money? I will get a ton of use out of this wallet, both in magic and mentalism. I think not only is the wallet amazing and the quality is top notch, but the tutorial too. I think the, the material in there is stuff that you will use. I think it is so good. Um, so yeah, between the quality of the wallet and the tutorial, I definitely think this is worth the money. And finally, pros and cons, positives and negatives. Um, the only negative that I have is that uh, it's pretty huge, right? Even as a hip pocket wallet, it's that's pushing it. Um, I did keep this in my hip pocket for a while. I didn't like it there because I always felt it there, right? Um, I wear cargo shorts a lot and it does fit in the, I guess, cargo pocket. I actually like it there better because I don't notice that it's there and it fits perfect in there. But I think for me, this will be primarily used in like strolling sets where I'm using a suit jacket um, that's, I think, where it's going to be best suited for me, but it will fit in a pants pocket. So, you know, it's personal preference, but again, that's probably the only negative. I wish that this could be a little bit smaller.
but that's it. The pros, I think it's just the quality, the ease of use, the simplicity, but then also the added layers of impossibility. I just, I've always loved the Molica wallet. And I think that this is the best version to date. So I think that that kind of covers everything that I have to say on this. I would definitely recommend it. If this is something you're interested in, I would go ahead and make the purchase. I don't think you'll be disappointed as long as you know the size. That's that's really it. So uh, with that, any other questions, just ask in the comments section. I will leave a link in the description on where you can pick this up. And with that, we'll see you at the next review.